Hackstack.io. Let's go back and open our CSS file, if it's not already back from when we pasted in our reset in lecture 4.5. Everything we do here, from here on out, will happen below this CSS reset that we pasted in earlier. This is your canvas. We're going to begin by styling the body tag. But why style the body tag? I mean, that tag itself is invisible after all, right? It by itself doesn't show as content on the page. Well, the reason is that styling this tag sets the stage for everything that'll come within it, which is all of our content. Setting style rules for this tag will let us specify things like our default font, its size and its color, as well as the background image, which you can see here that we've set to cover the entire page. You'll remember that the body tag is nested within the HTML tag. Some people prefer to apply styles directly to the HTML tag as it's the main parent element of the whole page and then skip styling of the body tag altogether. Other people like to style both. It's really a matter of preference, but we prefer to style just the body tag since styling the HTML tag would also apply those styling rules to the head section since it's a nested element within the HTML tag. But that would be superfluous since the head section contains all the stuff in your code that we humans don't visually see in the final display anyway. So how do we do this? In our CSS file, we'll begin by creating our body tag selector. Within these two squiggly brackets here that define the start and end of any selector's group of styling rules, We'll start adding CSS properties one by one, so we can observe exactly how they impact the design of our page as we go. 